Neuro linguistic programming uh, came out of the work that I did modeling the way people thought. We, we, it, what we did is so unique. As what I started looking at was the natural process by which people make mental changes. We looked at the neurological configurations. We looked at the linguistic structures that are hardwired in the mind and found out about how people learn. And so that people could be able, just like you program a computer, to program yourself to be able to do things. The subject of name means skill, which means knowing how to know in the fullest sense of the word, ology, which is study of. So it is actually study of knowingness. That is what the word itself means. What I started looking at was the natural process by which people make mental changes. We looked at the neurological configurations. We looked at the linguistic structures that are hardwired in the mind and found out about how people learn. And so that people could be able, just like you program a computer, to program yourself to be able to do things. Well, we in Scientology are not, you see, all past attempts have been to bring man up to somebody's standard of what's normal. What we're trying to do in Scientology is take somebody from this higher level and move them up to greater ability. When I started out, there were 40 schools of psychotherapy all arguing about who had the right approach when none of them could reliably do a single thing. You know, they couldn't fix phobias, they couldn't do this, they couldn't do that. We are the authorities on getting people off drugs. We are the authorities on the mind. We are the authorities on improving conditions. The auditor is listening for new information coming out of the incident. As long as new data is coming out, the incident is reducing and should continue to be run. Oh yeah, an ambulance drives by outside and the, the guy, one of the guys goes up to, to close the window and I remember thinking to myself, I'm, I'm so tired, I just, my eyes are so tired, it's like I can't see. The auditor must ask additional questions as needed to help the preclear recover more of the incident. Questions such as, what do you see? What do you hear? Or what do you smell? Can be asked to help the preclear. Okay, so this is now, and we're going to go to the past. And the, the emotion is present. It's okay. Now, what I want to ask your unconscious of mine to do is if you would help you walk back to the root cause cause and once we disconnect it will allow this emotion just to disappear. Uh, let me give you an example. It's better if I take that because it is such a broad ranging subject covering so many different areas. The subject of communication. This is something that uh, major breakthroughs exist in Scientology. Being able to communicate uh, around, in the world around you and I think everybody would agree that this is an important subject. Well there's an actual formula for communication which can be understood. You can drill on this formula of communication and learn to drill quantum NLP. It is becoming common knowledge right now that we are creating our reality. We are in charge of our universe. The things that come into our life on an everyday level, on an everyday basis. We are totally in charge. We are creating our life. Now the big question is, how do we do it? That is where NLP comes in and offers many wonderful resources and processes in helping us to attract, to create wonderful things into our life on a consistent basis. It happens through being very specific in asking the universe for what it is we want. If you want a new car, say the brand you want, the year you want it to be, how many miles it has, anything that you can think of, specify it exactly. Last year I actually made myself a treasure map, which is a way of outpicturing your internal wishes into an outside form. And I wrote on there the exact car I wanted, with the color, the mark, the model, everything. Later, half a year later, I bought that car. And I was so amazed when I looked back at my treasure map to see that it was exactly to the specifications what I had written down. So be precise, be specific, know what you want. This book, Dianetics, uh, talks about the mind. Mm -hmm. And uh, the subject of the mind, well, you have a mind. And I did this with you before, but anybody can see what their mind is. Their mind is composed of pictures. You can close your eyes, look at a cat, 
and you'll see a cat and those pictures you're seeing are your mind. Keep it external, disassociated. When you're ready to swish it, you say, now, when I say go, when I say three, fast. Got it? One thing I've learned over the years is the unconscious mind, human unconscious mind, is brilliant. Every human being is a genius, whether they like it or not. Be grateful for what you have. Right now, think about at least five things in your life that you can be grateful for. And by being in that state, by having that awareness, you truly change your neurology, you change your cellular level, your molecules are vibrating differently right now, and you will attract different things into your life.